the lawmaker who is also known for being an expert in the economy has a different take on the country's October inflation rate, which went up to 2.3%. The details and other developments related to inflation, PTV's Joshua Garcia narrates in this report. The National Economic and Development Authority, or NEDA, assured the prices of basic goods in the country remain stable despite a slight increase in inflation for October this year. According to NEDA, while inflation slightly increased to 2.3% in October from 1.9% in September, it still remains within the government's target range of 2.0 to 4.0%. The Philippine Statistics Authority explained the main cause for the slight inflation increase was the rise in prices of food and non-alcoholic beverages, particularly rice. National statistician Dr. Dennis Mapa added the uptick was also driven by the recent calamities whose impacts are likely to extend throughout November. So may mga pressure na uh, umaakyat and uh, of course the expectation is that itong, itong uh, uh, month ng November, siguro yung first uh, two weeks natin, uh, makikita rin natin pa ang pagtaas ng presyo ng uh, vegetables. So we are, we are tracking that. Normally nakikita natin yun after the after the typhoon and then magno normalize na naman. According to the PSA, although the price increase of some foods like vegetables, seafood, meat, and bananas has slowed down, rice and corn prices remain high. Ang expectation natin, nag-peak na ito eh. Uh, ito lang parang this is just a, a blip, no? And uh, we, uh, we expect that it will go down uh, again. Inflation rate and of course the, the price uh, level per kilo in the coming uh, months, so November and uh, December. Housing, water, electricity and other fuel products also significantly contributed to last month's inflation. Congressman Joey Salceda emphasized there are no red flags in the October inflation data. Instead, it clearly shows the economy has recovered from the shocks experienced in 2022 and 2023. Salceda also pointed out that President Ferdinand R. Marcus Jr.'s tariff reduction policies have significantly benefited consumers without negatively affecting local farmers. Finance Secretary Ralph G. Rector assured the public the country is still on track to meet its 2024 inflation target, despite a slight increase in October due to temporary factors like weather disturbances, such as severe tropical storm Christine and Super Typhoon Leon, and confirmed the government is taking steps to help affected communities recover quickly. Meanwhile, the Marcus Jr. administration continues to take steps to address challenges such as those caused by recent weather conditions, which have also contributed to the rise in inflation. According to the Banco Central ng Pilipinas, the 2.3% inflation rate for October is still within their forecast range of 2.0 to 2.8%. However, the BSP's monetary board will continue implementing measures to ensure price stability and support economic growth. From PTV Manila, Joshua Garcia, Balita Pambansa.